Hi there, my name is Dr. Benjamin Cowan, and I'm the Programme Director of the new MSc in Human Computer Interaction at the School of Information and Communication Studies at University College Dublin. So thanks very much for giving me the opportunity to tell you a bit more about this new and exciting programme that we're starting here at UCD. So the programme focuses very much on how to give people the skills to design technologies and interfaces with the user in mind, whether that be through mobile technologies, through desktop technologies that we're using so much nowadays, as well as more novel user interfaces such as speech-based interactions, speech-based interfaces like Amazon Alexa or, Amazon, or Google Home or Google Assistant. The programme gives you the skills to be able to design identify issues as well as come up with solutions for uh, designing interfaces around uh, a number of technologies that we see around the world uh, today. Rather than focusing on software and hardware, we focus on the people-centered view around technology, and that's looking at interfaces and interaction uh, paradigms through the prism of what this means for the users, as well as looking at individual interactions, how people collaborate in teams, as well as the cultural and social implications of technology um, uh, in society nowadays. And so the MSc covers all of these types of, uh, of topics, and you'll get a lot of expertise around these different areas. The course is focused around 90 credits, as uh, so a 90 credit taught masters. Um, you'll have 65, taught mod uh, uh, 65 credits worth of taught modules and 25 credits of a research thesis. And the taught modules focus on topics such as UXD, so user experience design, which focuses on how you design interfaces with users in mind, what the practices are and how to go through doing that, and how you develop prototypes, as well as things like quantitative data analysis, how do we analyze user data quantitatively, so using statistical techniques to understand things about design and the user, um, as well as introduction to artificial intelligence. So giving you a sense of how artificial intelligence might be slotting into human computer interaction in the future. Um, and we also uh, split the options that you get to select into a number of tracks to give it a, give you a sense of kind of the expertise that you may get from selecting particular options. So the first track looking at communicative interfaces, which is really the expertise uh, of, um, of uh, ourselves in University College Dublin at the School of Information and Communication Studies. We're world leaders in the research on speech and language technologies uh, from an HCI point of view. And in this case, you'll see that there are a number of courses that you can take to give you that kind of expertise. We have track two, which looks at interaction science and user research. Again, we're world leading in this area. We have a lot of expertise on our staff looking at how to gather data, how to analyze the data to get user-based insights. And we also have the third track looking at interfaces, ethics and society. And we have expertise in this area, world leading expertise, um, looking at this topic too. Uh, the careers that we envisage our graduates getting here and the careers that people who have gone on to after studying a lot of the, the courses that we see in this program are user experience research, interaction designer or conversational designers, also things such as ergonomic specialists and product designers. Uh, and we also see people going into PhD programs in human computer interaction. But I want to focus a bit more about the thesis module because that's a major component of the research thesis being a major component of this degree and it's one of the unique features compared to some of the other um, MSCs within the School of Information Communication Studies. In this case you'll be able to conduct a cutting-edge research project with some of the leading researchers in the field of HCI in our school. And this focuses on a range of topics that will reflect the staff members' expertise. And so some examples that we have of thesis topics would be looking at the effect of synthetic voices on user trust. So that's my area of expertise is on speech systems and, uh, and spoken dialogue systems. And we conducted projects looking at loads of different aspects of the design of things like Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant or Google Home. Uh, we also have expertise in kind of information needs. So uh, how do we design systems or how do we design um, for the information needs of different user groups, whether that's kind of prisoners or whether that's children or whether that's older adults. We also have um, expertise in social aspects of data gathering and data ethics um, uh, uh, within the school that you may be interested in, in focusing on your thesis topic for. But the, the topics are up to you really in terms of what you want to focus on. 
What we expect people to get out of this program is understanding of the theoretical and applied foundations of HCI. It's a wide ranging field that has huge implications for the design of future technologies. And so we expect you to really get a great rich view of the field of HCI and what it means to research human computer interaction and to design interfaces of the future. We expect students to critically engage with existing literature and design and assess interactions by gathering prototypes and such like. We also um, will look for students to gather skills in understanding, planning and executing research, as well as critiquing ideas within the field and developing high quality research projects as you go through that critiquing and as you go through the developing the methods. We also um, um, envisage our students to gather uh, both expertise in developing qualitative and quantitative research projects and getting uh, an idea of how to communicate your research and communicate the findings and communicate how to improve interfaces and interactions uh, to stakeholders. So who values all of these skills and who values HCI? Well, it's a who's who. Of, um, of big tech companies, as well as small to medium-sized enterprises, uh, companies like Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Google, um, uh, and you know, sort of all these companies are really focused on these types of, uh, uh, on understanding the user. And they all have labs of people who are trying to make their products better by understanding the user. Some of our previous students within the school who have studied similar topics have gone into uh, user experience jobs at Workday, at Citigroup, uh, in Storm Technology, uh, and also at Ampost here locally, and taking on uh, roles. And, and, and these employers have told us that it's really the, um, the knowledge about the user that's important for their, um, for their staff uh, here as well. And if you join us on this program, you'll be, be joining a uh, a thriving research community and one of the largest HCI groups in Europe, if not the largest in Ireland, um, uh, working on human computer interaction based research issues. And with that, um, you get uh, to, uh, you know, sort of be involved in a number of the activities that we do, which is most notably the research seminars that we have, where we have leading researchers from the field in industry, as well as academia. Uh, so we've had speakers from Swansea University, Trinity College, as well as Microsoft in the United Kingdom. And so uh, these people talk about their work and how they got into the field of HCI and what, uh, and what research they're doing at that particular moment. And we also have a podcast as well that's involved in uh, uh, from these speakers who give you um, uh, give you uh, um, an understanding of, of their research and what they do in HCI. If you're interested in that, you can uh, have access to that through all of the podcast um, uh, suppliers, through Spotify or through whoever, however you get your podcasts, and you get more information about the lab and uh, our activities through Twitter and also through the website. But so without further ado, with this part of the lecture, I just want to say, Really looking forward to seeing you in Dublin and really looking forward uh, uh, to uh, engaging in some of the issues and engaging in some of the work that we do in HCI and, um, and you're engaging in the programme with us.